it's me again and welcome to this video today i'm going to talk about things that i did to prepare for a natural birth at the hospital and i have eight things that i actively did to prepare so here you go <laughs> So the first thing I did was going to pregnancy yoga and I actually really 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 love that one not just because of the exercise and because of the stretching and moving you know in the right way for pregnant ladies but also because I could make some other pregnant friends and now we can meet up with our babies and it's super cool and because it is also advised to exercise and move during pregnancy so your body's just ready and strong for birth um, I think that is one really good thing you can do to prepare for a natural birth or birth in general. The second thing I did was the perineum massage. And I know this sounds kind of uncomfortable and kind of weird. And also at the beginning, I didn't really know how to do it and what to do, but um, you kind of get the hang of it. So there is like a special perineum oil, which I use and I try to do it every single day. I didn't quite go through with it every day, but um, it actually worked i did not have any tears in my perineum so for me it worked and maybe it will work for you so the perineum massage that's just something i can recommend for you to do i think you can start at like 34 to 36 weeks whenever you feel comfortable i did it around like a minute a day sometimes a little bit more or a little bit less depending on how i felt okay and the third thing i did was hypnobirthing exercises. My mom gave me this really wonderful book which is called Hypnobirthing and I read through it and I thought that was really really helpful because it kind of helps you to get into this trance, like into this hypnosis state where you're just super calm and relaxed and in the moment present and um, it helped me a lot. I did some of those exercises which is kind of like a meditation that just calms you down and puts your mind in like a relaxed state and um yeah oh and another thing you can do is also practicing like tuning i'm not quite sure what it's called in english in german it's called tunen and it's basically where you just make sounds you breathe in and then when you breathe out you make a sound you can either make oh ooh, e, ah, whatever sounds feels good to you and just try to hold that tone for as long as you can for example like ooh. and i did that during my birth throughout the whole process in the hospital and also at home through every contraction and it helped me so much and I survived every single contraction that I'm actually really proud of myself and I know that you can do that too. The fourth thing I did was hay flower baths. So basically what you can do is just buy these hay flowers. I bought them at the DM in Germany, but I think you can also buy them on the internet. And you boil some hot water, you put it together in like a bowl and you put this bowl into the toilet and then you sit on the toilet and then the hot steam from the hot water with the hay flowers inside goes up into your panani <laughs> and just softens everything because the hot steam is just you know making everything soft and really slippery and um, just warms up everything from down and you know it goes up to your uterus and also your baby and I don't know if this one actually helped but I did this multiple times and it just felt kind of relaxing even though i would recommend for you to go to the toilet beforehand because when you pee into this mixture then everything in the bathroom will smell like pee because it dissolves and that's not really nice <laughs> all right the fifth thing i did to prepare was rest and by that i mean just lie in bed and watch netflix and not do anything just chill and sleep and eat and rest basically and i think that's really important because labor is really exhausting and you need to you know, save some energy and power for this moment. So I think resting is really important for birth. The sixth thing I did was talk to people who had positive birth experiences because I wanted to have a positive mind and go into labor with that good feeling because I think that can help a lot as well. The seventh thing I did was to write a birth plan and um, I just wrote down everything that I wanted to have 
during my birth basically and I wanted to have a natural unmedicated birth in the hospital with my husband and my mom with me I think writing a birth plan that you can give to the midwives and the doctors at the hospital so they know exactly what you want you can also write on there if you want to go into the bathtub or not and just things like that what you want to do with the placenta etc etc so i wrote that down on a piece of paper and um i think that's really good so you know what you want and the eighth thing i did was visualize my dream birth the way i wanted to have it basically and i know that you can't really choose how it's gonna be Sometimes there are unexpected things happening like the baby having the umbilical cord wrapped around their neck or something like that or like you need an, an emergency c-section or something like that. Of course you cannot foresee those kind of things but I think visualizing what you want in life and also what you want for your birth um, can be like a really powerful tool and for me I think it has worked really really well and um, so if you are going into labor soon then maybe it will help you too so yeah that was it for today thank you for listening and for watching and i hope i'll see you soon bye